here it says difference between the reciprocal of a positive proper fraction and the fraction itself be 9 by 20. Let's say the fraction be x. So it becomes x minus 1 by x reciprocal of x is equal to 9 by 20. Then on further simplification it becomes 20x square minus 20 is equal to 9x or it is equal to 20x square minus 20 or you can say minus 9x minus 20 is equal to 0. Okay. Now we'll find the root for x and that we can find in three simple steps. Step number 1, the product of this 20 into 20 is 400. Now we'll learn how to find the factors of this 400 mentally that should possess the difference of 9. Okay. For that, we should think of the number that is nearest to its square root. Now since 400 is a perfect square, so it becomes 20 into 20 is 400. Okay. Now we move forward. We increase the value of this 20 and simultaneously decrease its value because we have 400 as the constant number for us. Now, since 400 is the multiple of 5, so it's one of the factors must be the multiple of 5. Therefore, we won't consider the numbers from 21 till 24. So, straight away we will take 25 as the ne next factor of 400. And 25 into 16 are 400. So, we obtain two factors that possess the difference of 9 Okay, so here the two factors are minus 25 and plus 16. Now step number 2. You have to divide these factors by the coefficient of x square. So it becomes minus 25 over 20 and plus 16 over 20. <coughs> okay, on further simplification it becomes minus 5 by 4 and plus 4 by 5. Then step number 3, change the sign. So it becomes 5 by 4 and 4 by 5. So we obtained two values of x here. That is 5 by 4 and sorry minus 4 by 5. Because on changing the sign of plus 4 by 5 it gets, we will get minus 4 by 5. Now since this is a negative number we will reject this. So we obtain the number as 5 by 4 and reciprocal of this number is 4 by 5 okay but students note one more important point here here our answer is not 5 by 4 because in the question it says if the difference between the reciprocal of a positive proper fraction we are reversing the positive proper fraction Therefore, we rejected this minus 4 by 5 and also our answer must be 4 by 5 because 5 by 4 is improper fraction and whereas 4 by 5 is proper fraction. Thus, 4 by 5 that is option number 4 is our answer.